So that's the texture of the two products. <laughs> it's been a minute since I filmed. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And for today's video, I have my spring 2023 FabFitFun unboxing. Uh, so if you are not into FabFitFun, but you clicked on this video anyway, I will say thank you. And I will apologize that there's been more FabFitFun content than I usually post in a certain period of time. Uh, I did actually have another video filmed that I started to edit, but uh, I decided I needed to refilm that video. So that was why I was kind of, I guess, gone for almost two weeks. I try to upload at least once, sometimes twice a week if I can manage it. But anyway, here we are. So uh, I received my FabFitFun box yesterday, which was Friday the 24th of February. And uh, I am an annual member, so if you haven't seen any of my previous kind of what will I choose videos where I go through every single option and all the categories, if you're thinking of subscribing to FabFitFun, I invite you to uh, check out those videos to kind of hear my thoughts on all of the options for this season. But this video, I'm going to just try to focus on what I got in the interest of time and keeping things on the shorter side, relatively. Uh, so, as you probably see in the thumbnail, I I went a bit ham this season. I think it was an especially good box and there were a lot of great options. Uh, the winter box I thought was also good, but because it was my renewal period, which means I was billed for the upcoming year, uh, I was trying to be, I guess, a little bit more conservative in the additional options and the add-ons. But this season I didn't have that uh, to contend with and um, as I said, it is a birthday themed box and my birthday is in April, so I kind of felt a little, I guess, emboldened in terms of what I decided to pick. So I paid almost $300 in additional choices and add-ons, plus the quarter of the subscription that I paid back in like December or whatever. But yeah, it was, it was definitely on the higher side and I did definitely have to kind of take things out of my cart. So if you heard me talk about any items in a previous video that I was thinking of picking up, but uh, I didn't actually pick them up, it's not really negating what I said in that previous video. It was just a matter of, I really had to kind of um, cut some of the, the fat, if you will, from the season's box. So the total value was 729. Uh, so I will try to kind of go through and tell you what the value of items is just for perspective and uh, let you know kind of again what my thought process was. So as you have seen by now, this is what the box looks like. Uh, so fun cakes on the top here. And mine just shipped in this box. So they put all of the items I chose in addition to the items I purchased from the add-on store in this box. Uh, in previous seasons, I know they would ship it in an outer box, but I guess if everything fits in this box, then they just ship it as is. Uh, and these boxes do make good uh, storage boxes. So I do hold on to these for storage and it shows the inside there. It's made out of 100% recycled craft materials. And I think this season they have foregone the magazine. So instead of having a actual printed magazine, they just included this little card with a QR code. So this is their 10 year anniversary. It says this season we're raising a toast to 40 spectacular seasonal boxes, thousands of add-ons, tons of perks, and an unparalleled community of incredible members. We couldn't be more grateful. On our anniversary, we're excited to introduce an upgrade to our magazine, an interactive digital only version that is enjoyable to read and removes 320 tons of paper from our annual circulation. That's what we call a win-win. Cheers to you for making this FabFitFun journey so extraordinary. We know the best is yet to come. Uh, and they also have some kind of scratch off here. So scratch and match, match four cakes in a row. Okay, so let's see where this takes us. So that just sends me to the page on the FabFitFun website where it shows you the items I've selected. So I guess then you just like click on each item if you want to see the same information again. So I, I think that is kind of a cop out. Honestly, I don't think they really did anything new. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and scratch this. 
I saw that um, Catherine McCarty, I think, paid the $15 to get expedited shipping on hers. And I think she got her box maybe like a week before I did, uh, just in case you were wondering whether that would be worth it to you. Uh, let's see what I can use to scratch here. Kitty likes to scratch. All right, I guess I'll just use a nail file. Um, but she was saying that if you just do the bottom row, it might go ahead and just tell you. So she's talking about this like, let me try and get this into the trash. This bottom strip here where it says, sorry, not an instant winner. Head to fabfitfun.me slash games for more prizes. I know they've done a lot of things on their Instagram recently where you try to like guess the value of different collections of items from the add-on store. So anyway, interesting that they're, I guess, exploring that. No stickers, um, which again is endlessly disappointing to me. So I think I'll kind of go in order of category and then I'll go into like the booze, the refills and the add-ons. So for the first category, additional choices are $15. And I picked up, I think this was my actual choice, was the Amica Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. These are each 9.2 fluid ounce, and these have a $52 value together. Uh, they were taped shut, as you can see. I just kind of used an X-Acto knife to um, separate the sticker. Uh, and I did use this earlier today. I liked it. Uh, I will say the, the shampoo was a little bit on the thinner side for like luxury shampoos. Uh, and the conditioner, I think, was, it wasn't quite like mask level, but it was definitely, I think, a thicker conditioner. And as I've said before, okay, so I'll just show you, that's what the shampoo is like in texture. Yeah, so as I've said in other videos, it's just going to run off my hand. Um, I generally use a deep conditioner in lieu of, yeah, there we go. So... That's the texture of the two products. <laughs> it's been a minute since I filmed. <laughs> yeah, so I usually use a deep conditioner instead of a kind of normal conditioner, but when I get these sets from FabFitFun or whatever, I just end up having the conditioner. So my preference is to have a hair mask basically as my conditioner, but I can definitely use that. It does have that Amica scent uh, that I'm familiar with. And I think it does linger in your hair a bit. So just be aware of that, uh, whatever your preference is in terms of like your hair smelling of your shampoo and conditioner. Um, I like it and um, I think my hair looks pretty good. I think I wash my hair sometimes daily, sometimes every other day, which is more than I think most people do. But anyway. Um, so yeah, so I like those. And um, as you can tell, I also have the Coach Watch Strap. And I have mine so that it is, let's see. I think there's three open holes past where the, um, the watch is actually fastened. I can fit it on the next hole up to make it smaller. Uh, and my husband and I measured my wrist the other night and I think I have about a six inch wrist, um, which I think is kind of on the smaller side. Yeah, I can see, I guess, what people were talking about in terms of it being on the smaller side. Like there are a good one, two, three, four, five, I think smaller holes. So I didn't end up getting one of these for my mom because I was just, you know, worried that it wouldn't fit or whatever. So uh, anyway, it does work for me and it was definitely a bit of an adjustment because I've been so used to like the Apple silicone um, wristband, which doesn't have this kind of traditional fastener um, and the like the Milanese steel one that's magnetic. Um, so I like this as, you know, having a pop of color. It's a little bit more interesting than just plain black. So happy to have it. But um, again, just be aware of that sizing issue. Uh, and then I also got the Kate Spade Samantha sunglasses, which I put, ah. so they came in this like satin bag. I prefer a hard case, especially when I'm putting it in a bag, but I understand for expense reasons, it does make sense to ship it in something like this. Uh, and I guess this is like the Kate Spade kind of signature green color. Uh, I think I actually saw something on their Instagram where they commissioned Pantone to like have this color uh, and ironically the 
video that I scrapped that I need to refilm is my like Pantone color of the year video. Uh, like I actually went to, um, there's a website called Finding Ferdinand, which allows you to uh, custom make blushes and lip glosses based on like a hex code. Uh, so I did that and I used them in the video, but I found out later that the, the hex code I used was maybe not the ideal hex code. So that's why I want to refilm that video. But anyway, uh, so these are the sunglasses. I think they look good. I, I don't think I've really had a pair of cat eye sunglasses that's been this kind of uh, exaggerated, I guess, but <laughs> you can see me in the monitor there. They're pretty snug to the side of my head. You know, sunglasses do tend to kind of loosen up over time, uh, but I do feel like they can kind of rest mostly on my nose bridge without getting too much um, on the, the bottom rim there, which is kind of one of my pet peeves with sunglasses and I don't think it took away too much of my makeup. For um, foundation today I'm wearing the new Revlon Luminance I think it's called. Yeah I think I think that's pretty good and if I know I'm going out and I'm going to be wearing sunglasses a lot or whatever uh, I do try to powder a little bit more on that area but um, yeah we'll just stick those on the top of my head uh, and again that is why I like this style of sunglasses is because it just gets caught in my hair otherwise. Uh, and then the last item, so I'm not sure if I mentioned the Coach watch strap has an $85 value. Um, I would have paid $15 for that. The sunglasses have a $129 value. I paid $15 for them. And then finally, I have the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Moisturizer. This is your standard 1.7 fluid ounce or 50 mil. This has a $45 value. And again, I would have paid an additional 15 for it. Uh, so I did use it today just to kind of test it out a bit. Um, has a nice heavy jar glass packaging. I mean, nothing too elaborate or whatever, but it feels nice. And that is what the moisturizer looks like. It was interesting because because in the pot it looks a little bit kind of like the Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizers, but I think this one is definitely, I mean, it kind of looks like a gel, but when you rub it in, it feels more like an oil. I don't know how to explain it, but that that's kind of what it feels like. It reminded me a bit also of the uh, Skin Fix, like triple lipid line that they have so so I do definitely think I will enjoy this and be able to use it up um, I don't think it has a fragrance yeah I really can't smell anything so that's a definite plus so I'm looking forward to using that uh, during this winter season I've been going in with some pretty kind of heavy occlusive uh, moisturizers but uh, during the day especially as we get into the warmer months I think this will be perfect okay so that was it for number one for number two uh, the additional choices were again 15. Uh, so I think my choice was the Ryan Porter candle. And as far as what was my choice and what was an add on, there wasn't really any kind of rhyme or reason to that. I think it's just however FabFitFun kind of categorizes things. So just because it was my choice doesn't mean it was my like top pick, um, basically. Um, but I waited to open the candle. And let's see. Okay, so very securely packaged. Okay. Yeah, it does. It does have like a really warm gourmand scent. Um, it looks like my candle might have a little bit of kind of a wrinkle in there, which is not super ideal. And I think people have noted that this company does have candles on their website that have like sprinkles in the inside, like sprinkles made out of wax instead of just printed on the outside. So I still think it's cute. It's just a one wick candle. It's kind of, I guess, a collector's item if you care about that. Pure soy wax, nine ounces. I might burn this tonight and just kind of show you guys how it burned because like I said, I've had some other Ryan Porter candles that just did not burn all that well for me. So uh, yeah, I don't regret getting this. Reminds me a little bit of like a strawberry shortcake doll I had when I was a kid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was one item. They say that has a $31 value. I'm not totally sure about that, but anyway. Uh, and then I also got the Commodity Gold Expressive 
which I had a sample of and I talked a lot about in that other video, uh, the what will I choose video about kind of their different scent spaces. So they have like a personal that's like close to the skin, a little bit more subtle. They have this expressive line, which is kind of their like default baseline. And then they have a bolder version as well. So that's what the box looks like. So scent space expressive for me and the many around me. And I think bold is like the very many. Yeah, so they don't have the notes on here, but I do remember that this was kind of a very warm scent. I forget exactly what the notes were, but I think, you know, if you like those kind of gourmand, warm vanilla. <laughs> um, so that's what the fragrance looks like. This is their 30 mil or one fluid ounce size, which I think is an exclusive size for FabFitFun. I think it's kind of cute actually. Um, it's a little heavy, so I wouldn't say it's like really a travel size, but if you did want to travel with it, I think you easily could. Uh, and I think the cap just kind of goes on like that. It's not like a magnetic cap or anything. Um, and I haven't sprayed any perfume today. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I do like to wear those types of fragrances on occasion. Uh, generally, I think I'm more of a floral, like rose scent kind of girl, but I thought it would be nice to have this on hand. It looks like this label also got kind of dinged up. Anyway, uh, and I think if you go into their website, they say that this is sold out. It has a $70 value. Yeah, luxurious blend of molten amber, creamy sandalwood, and sweet vanilla. So I think at one point they said this was like a FabFitFun exclusive, so I don't know if they will bring it to their website if you were so interested, but they do have a travel size of 10 mil for 25. And I think you can also get those on Sephora uh, and they have different like scent samplers as well. Okay, so that was it for category two. I think I said in my what will I choose video that I was thinking about the NYDJ like lounge set. And the more I thought about it, like I could have gotten use out of it. I mean, I have more than enough like lounge shorts, house shorts, house pajamas, lounge wear, etc. So I didn't really need them. Like I thought I could wear them, but again, that color just didn't seem like it was going to be very flattering. And like part of the joy to me of having a matching set is that you just feel really kind of put together and like luxurious. And I wasn't sure that I would get that feeling from that set. So I decided to skip on that. That was one of those items that just fell on the chopping block. Okay. For category three, additional choices were $10. So I got the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser, like I said I would. This has a $44 value. Um, so this was my, I guess, actual choice. And it is very purple, aren't I? Uh, it was convenient because uh, I just finished the Delicate Cleanser, which is another cleanser from Kate Somerville. Uh, the Delicate, I think, is kind of more for sensitive skin. This one is more... I think marketed towards like dehydrated or dry skin uh, because I think it does have some of those like lactic acid type exfoliants. Uh, but like I mentioned in the other video, yeah, that's the texture of the cleanser. So usually what I do is I get my face wet in the shower. I keep this in my shower. I get my face wet in the shower and then I put this on and kind of massage it in. And then I just let it sit while I'm washing my hair, washing my body, etc. And then I'll rinse it off like right before I get out. Uh, so it's kind of almost like a mask in a way. That works well for me because I think just having like pure water on your skin, it can, can lead the skin to kind of dry out actually. So um, I like to have that little bit of layer of moisture kind of on my skin while I'm in the shower. Uh, so I got that. And then I also got, like I said, the sprinkles tumbler. This has a $30 value, um, so I paid $10 for it. And this will be part of a birthday gift um, for a friend. Uh, so yeah, so it says hand wash only, do not microwave, made in China. And I'm going to try and gingerly open this so I can show you all. So that's what the tumbler looks like. I think it's cute. Again, kind of a bummer that it is hand wash only, but hopefully my friend likes it. I'm not sure what her kind of tumbler situation is like at present, um, but she she knows that I love a good theme, so I think she'll appreciate what I did in terms of putting all of this together. I do have those cupcake 
holders that I'll come to later. Okay, so I got those and then, okay, so I finally get to put some lipstick on. So I have two of the Pat McGrath lipsticks. I always loved the way that she packages her lipsticks. I just think they look really kind of, I don't know, interesting and love the different designs, artwork and everything that she has. And this kind of old school tie mechanism. So I'll go ahead and try both of these on. This is the shade Fembot. And you open it and lipstick is inside. Again, I would, I would love to know what her, her plans are for these lipsticks if they're going to be discontinued. That does happen a fair bit. Sometimes it's just brand new products that brands want to try to promote and sometimes it's old products that they want to get rid of. Okay, so similar packaging here, different artwork, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, this is the shade soft core. Uh, and I think I did see on their Instagram that they had some kind of like, it was like a VR thing that FabFitFun loaded where you could like try on the different shades of lipstick. So maybe I'll insert my swatches next to whatever the FabFitFun one was. Okay, so I had a little bit of lip oil on earlier. I think it's mostly kind of sunken in. All right, so this is the shade soft core. I think that one's pretty flattering. It's, it's really an interesting texture because it doesn't feel super creamy or anything, but it does, I think, go on the lips pretty easily. Like it doesn't look overly drying. So I think it's just kind of like the silicone nature of the formula. All right, so this is soft core and this other one is Fembot. I have a lot of lip products to try on in this video. All right, so yeah, my lips do feel, I guess, drier now than they did. Good thing we have a lip mask. All right, so this is Fembot. I mean, a little bit more brownie maybe, but there's not a whole lot of difference there. I think these are both pretty easygoing. I think I might prefer the pinkier tone a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the other one back on. Uh, so I don't think these are probably like my new favorites or anything, it's not like instant love, but sometimes you just need kind of a matte lipstick, matte nude. All right, so I'll just leave that on for a bit until we get to our next lip product. Uh, so those were the two Pat McGrath lipsticks and those um, supposedly have a value of $39 each. I got each of those for $10. Uh, it's nice that FabFitFun allows you to pick up, I guess, one of multiple shades if they have that as an option. Uh, and when I say there's supposedly a $39 value, I think that's the retail price. But as I said in my last video, like Pat McGrath has up to 40% off sales, not infrequently on her website. And people have found a lot of her things in like TJ Maxx recently, like things from the holiday collection. I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going on with the brand. I would love to be a fly on the wall in one of their in one of their meetings but anyway uh okay so that is it for category three for category four so additional choices were only eight dollars um so this is where i got the sprinkles cups silicone cupcakes these are sealed so i don't want to rip this because it's a gift but i'll throw up some pictures of what these are supposed to look like uh, in case you're curious. And as I mentioned in that other video, I did go ahead and pick up the Sprinkles baking book. Uh, I actually got one for me and one for my friend. Uh, there was a, I think, buy one, get one half off kind of deal at Target, so I took advantage of that. Uh, so this is going to be the final component of the gift. And um, it is a little bit of a like chunkier, heavier book than I thought it would be. Uh, it says there are 100 secret recipes. And I did see on their Instagram that they also created a cupcake specifically in honor of the FabFitFun anniversary. I don't know if it's going to be on the menu in their various locations, but um, I thought I would just point out like the Barbara Streisand cupcake, now that I have this, her cupcake, um, it, says it's a vanilla cupcake with a thin chocolate ganache glaze. So um, that is the Barbara Streisand cupcake if you're curious. And like I said before, 
I think there's a like Blake Lively, some more cupcake. I think there's one from Jessica Alba in here, Michael Strahan's mom. Um, so I don't know. So it's kind of fun. I, I don't know that I will make anything out of here in the near future, but um, I thought it would be kind of a fun component of a gift um, to include. So picked that up. And then I also got the Fenty brush. Um, so this one is interesting. So I think, like I said in my last video, I have the Fenty Matchstick in Amber. And this is a cream, like cool tone contour. They do have several shades of this. Um, and there's quite a decent amount of product. Like in this one, you get 7.10 grams of product. So quite a bit compared to, I think like the new Milk contour stick. Uh, and it's a nice cool tone. They came out with an even lighter version, I think. Uh, but this one works well enough for me. And I think they have recently, I don't know if they've reformulated this or if they've just repackaged it because uh, the one I have is magnetic, as you can see, which I didn't realize this was magnetic. But uh, yeah, like originally the idea was that you could like connect all of your pieces. And I think recently they've gone to a non-magnetic version of this for either environmental or cost reasons, I'm not sure. But anyway, it is kind of fun that these connect, although it doesn't really affect, I guess, how I use them. Uh, another thing, the Fenty contour stick, it's a little bit more of a matte plastic versus this brush. And this one is like a pearlescent kind of feel to it. It's just not exactly what I was expecting, I guess, based on what this is like. And this is what the the brush looks like. So uh, I think in the demo I filmed, I used this on like half of my face and then I used my normal BK 101 brush to blend out the other half. And this does work, uh, but it definitely does take a little bit longer and a little bit more effort. So uh, this is the kind of thing where I love this brush, but it can be a little bit, I guess, big to take in a kind of makeup case. So if you wanted to really kind of streamline your brush collection when you're traveling, um, this is nice and compact for sure. And you don't have to worry about the bristles getting on anything or whatever. So uh, yeah, it's soft enough and it was up to the task. Uh, it was, I guess, a little bit easier to do my nose contour. And I think people also said that you can use it to blend out concealer. So I guess I can see that as well. It's a little bit difficult to use it for both purposes back to back because obviously you don't want to get contour underneath your eyes. Uh, but yeah, I am happy I picked this up. So this has a $24 value and I would have paid $8. Um, so, <laughs> and these just connected it too. Uh, so anyway, I got that. And then the last item here is the other Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. This is 3.3 fluid ounce and it has a $28 value, so I would have paid eight. I like this. I used it last night after I washed my hair because like I said, I tend to wash my hair more often than I think a lot of people do. Uh, and that's partly just due to my hair texture. It just doesn't look as good the next day after I sleep on it and like the curls kind of fall out, but then like I always sleep with a sleep mask on, so my hair just gets kind of sweaty and it just acts weird, so. Anyway, I would rather go the extra mile in terms of hydration than try to make a specific, I guess, wash or style last. Um, it's just my preference. But anyway, this comes with a little pump and it has one of these little uh, like stoppers on it, I guess you would say. So um, you would just take that off to be able to pump it. But if for some reason you wanted to travel with it or store it or whatever, you could hold on to this and just use it. Uh, so I did use it, like I said, because my normal routine is to, when I get out of the shower, I use a leave-in conditioner, like a spray. And then once I kind of comb through my hair, then I'll go in with something thicker, like a leave-in conditioning cream or blow dry type product if I'm blow drying my hair. Or um, like what I use today is the, the Diva Curl Curl Definer or something like that. Um, so I really like that for kind of scrunching in and trying to get that wave pattern or whatever. So I didn't use any kind of styling product like that last night. I just used the like leave-in conditioning spray. And when I do that, sometimes I do feel like my hair feels or looks a little bit dry. Uh, so I went ahead and used this and I feel like it did 
instantly like make my hair look better. And this was also another product where the scent kind of lingered a bit. So again, just be aware of that if you don't like scents in your hair care. Yeah, I feel like I saw kind of an immediate reaction as just kind of a leave-in type product. I don't know that really having it in overnight did anything in particular. I guess I just don't know how this is different than just your normal kind of leave-in conditioner. Uh, but in any case, I do like it and I will continue using it. Okay, so moving on to five. So again, additional choices were $8. And again, as you can see in the demo, I got the Zoe and Ayla headband. So it's just a Velcro kind of strip of terry cloth or something, I guess. Uh, it says 83% polyester, 17% nylon. It has the little like 40 degree symbol. I think you can tumble dry made in China. So I don't think there's anything super remarkable about this, but I felt like I could use another one of these. Anyway, have that, like the color. I used it today, worked fine. So there's that. Uh, and then I also have the NCLA birthday cake lip mask. So that is what that looks like. And I'm kind of swatching these lip products out of order, but it's just kind of how it happened. I did the B-roll of like the Fenty brush and stuff as I was getting ready, but I thought for the lip products, I could just try them on if I can ever get into this box. All right, so again, very pretty purple. And I guess I'll go ahead and wipe this off. At least my lips will get some kind of relief or hydration. So anyway, very cute little jar and it has the little protector. Oh, I was expecting it to be white. It doesn't really smell like, oh wow. Do you see that? I was expecting something much more emollient. This is like, I'm kind of confused by this. It's like liquidy. It looks like something that should be in a, a tube and not like a pot. Guess I'll just let that sit on my lips. I know it looks weird with like part of the foundation and everything kind of worn off. Uh, so yeah, so that was not what I was expecting. And it's like relatively cold in the DC area. And this has just been kind of sitting at room temperature. So it's not like this just came out from like 90 degree weather or anything. Yeah, I don't really get a scent from this. I mean, maybe something kind of very faintly vanilla, but not really. It feels nice. It feels like pretty oily, like it looks. All right, I'll have to I'll have to check out their website to see if they put this on as a product for sale to the general public. But yeah, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, uh, and the two options that I talked about possibly getting, but I didn't get, I didn't get the bobble bar set. Uh, again, it was only eight dollars, but again, I was trying to cut out some of the fat from my cart. Uh, and then also the Grace and Stella mask. Yeah, the bubble bar, like it would have been a gift. So they'll never know basically that they didn't get it. And the Grace and Stella mask, like I thought it could have been nice, but I wasn't positive that I would get a lot of use out of it. All right. And then for number six, I just got one item. Uh, additional choices would have been 10, but I just got the one Necessaire body serum. This has a $45 value. And this is fragrance free, which is good. I think this might have, yeah, it does have niacinamide, which can be kind of irritating to me. I've tried to be really careful recently because my eczema has been kind of bad um, about what I use on my, on my body, but hopefully this is okay. Okay. So that's the consistency. It does kind of have more of a gel look to it. Yeah. It doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. All right. So I'll just try to kind of rub it into that arm. The one with the watch. I mean, my hand definitely looks a little bit more hydrated. Yeah. You can see the eczema that's healing there. So yeah. So I'll definitely try this out, incorporate it. I don't know if I'll use it in combination with, uh, right now I'm just using like the CeraVe moisturizing cream as like my body lotion. Uh, so I don't know if I'll try and layer those or not, but this is, cap is kind of annoying to be honest. I feel like you really have to, it takes a bit of an effort to kind of get the cap back on. So I can see myself just leaving the cap off. So I don't know if you're the type that cares about that kind of feature. So that was it for all the kind of regular categories. Uh, and then I did get the Briagio Don't Despair Repair. Uh, I did, I think in another video say that I was getting a lot of hair products. 
Uh, so this was $19. It has a $44 value. Like I said before, what kind of intrigued me about this is that it has both protein and moisture. And I don't follow the curly girl method, but if I can get products that don't have silicones in them, I think I would gravitate towards those. And I don't think Briogeo puts silicones in any of their products. So as far as being kind of curly girl method approved. I don't know if people still do the curly girl method, but anyway, I thought it would be interesting to try this out. And it was kind of interesting to me, I guess just to compare all of the different ways in which you use these leave-in products. Like Olaplex, for example, was always something I had to be very intentional about because you did it on damp hair before you shampooed. Uh, K18 is great because uh, you wash your hair as normal, but then don't condition and you put it in after you get out. So that's one of the kind of the simplest approaches to it. Uh, this dream routine, it says you can use it on damp or dry hair before bedtime. Spread a pump into hands and distribute from mid lengths to ends. No need to rinse in the morning. So again, this just is kind of like a leave-in product. This Briogeo, it says after shampooing, wring hair of excess water and apply the treatment evenly through damp hair. Leave in for at least 10 minutes or longer slash overnight as desired. Rinse out and then apply the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask to complete your intense treatment process. For best results, use weekly. So I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how I'll feel about the kind of process. I mean, it does say to rinse out and then use a deep conditioning mask after. Like even when I use a conditioning mask in the shower, usually it's probably in my hair for maybe two or three minutes. I don't usually take 10 minutes in between putting it in and rinsing it out. So anyway, so I'll be interested to try that. But sometimes these treatments are just kind of more effort than they're worth, it seems. And then the other item I was thinking of picking up was the track heating pad. That was $27. And I think it had like a 50 or $60 value maybe. So that was like a wireless heating pad that you would put around your waist, I guess, for your lower back, or I don't know if you could put it on backwards and it would be on your abdomen. Uh, but I decided that I have one now that I use, um, it's corded, uh, but I also realized that I could pick up something like that from like the FSA store or anywhere and get it reimbursed through my FSA for my healthcare plan. So I decided I would just go ahead and do that instead of adding it to a FabFitFun box because I thought it was possible that I could get it reimbursed after purchasing it from FabFitFun, but I didn't want to risk it and like submit a receipt that was like, $300 worth and there was like one item on there that was an FSA item. So I decided to skip on that. And then for my refills, I got my cocoa floss, like I mentioned, this was $8 and 10 cents. I'll have to look up how much the retail value of this, but um, basically you get one like refill spool and then one full spool like that. And just for comparison, this is the one that I've been working on so you can kind of see what they look like. And the nice thing about these is that on the back, not like I paid too much attention to it, but it does kind of have markers. I think I'm maybe at the two week mark. Like you can see there's different kind of day markers for how much you have left. So if you need warning in terms of when you're going to run out of floss, I guess that's a good one. Yeah. Love having that on hand, so I thought might as well use the refill service. And then I also got two more of the replacement filters. I think we just used one of these replacement filters around the time we were customizing. Does it say how long? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how long you're supposed to use each filter. So I don't know if the seasonal cycle kind of matches up with using two of these or not, but anyway. Got more of those and then everything else was an add-on. Okay, so the first add-on I got was the uh, Ambient Blush from Hourglass in the shade At Night. Uh, this is a travel size and I think it was $23, which is not like a super great value. I guess my number one tip for the add-on store is I always pay attention to the percentage discount because I know there were definitely some like Necessaire products in the add-on store that I thought about picking up, but they were like 17% off or something. And it was like, I might as well just wait and buy them at Sephora during their VIB sale because then at least I'll get 20% off. Don't assume that everything is like a super great value. Uh, but this little blush, I don't think is like available for individual sale. And the one I got at least, it looks like the, the kind of beige part of it is more dominant than the red, which works out for me, but I think it's still a very pretty 
kind of flushed look. Uh, if you haven't tried any of the Hourglass blushes, I highly recommend them. I think they give a beautiful kind of sheen to the skin, just looks very flattering, I think. And I thought I would compare it to like one of their full size blushes. I know they make minis, I think is part of their permanent line. There's a couple shades, I think especially their most popular, like this is my blush palette from them that I've had for a long time and I wish they would make it permanent. But um, this one, for example, has Luminous Flush, which is one of my all time favorites and Mood Exposure. Those are my two favorites from this palette. And I think both of those are available as minis. Um, so if you just wanted to try one of these out without spending a whole lot, buying a mini is a great way to go. You can see that peach shade has not been my favorite. I don't tend to gravitate towards peach or coral as much. And I did use with it my Refer number no. five brush, which is my preferred blush brush. You can tell as I was using it, like I think you could definitely build this up, um, like if you have deeper skin. I kind of, you know, dipped my brush in and I think after seeing the red on the brush, I was a little intimidated. So I try to like knock some of it off or knock it onto my hand and then go in. And I think on this cheek, maybe one of these cheeks, um, I just went in with a super light hand. Yeah, you can always, you can always add more. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you in terms of like brush to pan ratio kind of thing. I know I've complained about some of their face palettes that they come out with around the holidays because in those, the pans just seem so tiny and they're also kind of close together. So I don't mind as much having a small pan if there's no danger of my brush picking up another product. So um, this is one of their holiday palettes, for example. Again, if you just want a comparison, it might be the same size. Um, this is, it does have a little mirror in it, which is nice. You can almost fit your entire cheek in it. <laughs> Not anything else. Um, but yeah, this is I think 1.4 grams per pan. And this is about 1.3. Same ounce weight though. So pretty much the same size it seems. So this blush might have been in the add-on store last time around because we had all of the Hourglass lipsticks. I don't know if it just didn't catch my eye or what. But I thought because I did have the At Night lipstick from last time from the winter box, I would apply it with this cheek color so you can see how those look together. So yeah, I think they look good together. I think this this blush gives me a very like sitting in front of the fireplace kind of look or vibe to it. Perhaps not the most spring appropriate, but I think the At Night blush was also part of their Lunar New Year collection. Like they re-promoted it. So um, if you missed out and you want to check it out, um, you can do that. All right, so that is the lipstick. Um, one thing I did want to bring up that I thought was kind of crappy on the part of Fat Fit Fun was they also had the Infinity Powder, which I thought about purchasing. It is an expensive powder and it was still kind of expensive even at, I think it was like a 30% off discount when I saw it. So I thought about getting it. I even like looked up reviews on YouTube and that product came out like a couple years ago. I was really trying to decide whether it was worth it to me um, but in the end, I just kind of decided that like the discount wasn't that great. And so if I did want to pick it up in the future when it was like 20% off plus like cash back or whatever, like it would be close enough so that, you know, I could take it out of my add-ons cart without feeling too bad about it or feel like I was missing out. Uh, and as you may know, as an annual subscriber, you get kind of the first crack at the add-on store and... Uh, because of that, I film like a screen capture of the add-on store so that, you know, non-subscribers or seasonal subscribers can kind of get a sense of what's in there. Uh, but what I noticed, because when the add-on store opens for seasonal subscribers, they also reopen it for annual subscribers if they want like a second crack at it. The Infinity Powder was not the same price as it was when I saw it. Um, and I'll maybe post some pictures so you can see the price difference. But I think it went from like, 30% to like 20% maybe. And like right now they have some kind of edit sale. It's their birthday sale apparently. So it's similar to the add-ons where, you know, it's open for a certain window 
you can take things out and add them and then they'll bill you once it closes. Like right now, the Infinity powder is at $39 down from 56, which is a 30% off discount. Um, but I did take a screenshot and I'll go back and check my add-on video to make sure I'm not delusional. But I took a screenshot of it when it was during the add-on store and it was only 20% off. So like I understand like you have different sales like the edit sale or this birthday sale or they have their shop that's just kind of a normal, you know, you can check out any time kind of thing. It's usually always up. I understand that, you know, for those types of sales, it may be different, but I just feel like it's really crappy to offer a different discount to annual members than to seasonal members. And I think it was back in stock. So it wasn't even like a when it went out of stock, it had a different price or whatever. So so anyway, I just wanted to throw it out there that that was kind of a crappy thing for them to do. Okay, so I have two other lip products and then I think I'll be done with the lip swatches. All right, so I got two of these Kaja Love Swipe. What are these called, lip mousses? Uh, they have the shades I'm Melting and Swipe Right. And one of these was like $14 and one of these was like $15 for some reason. Not entirely sure why. I think the regular price is like 21, so not like the craziest discount, but I'd kind of had my eye on these for a while and I just thought they were just really cute and I wanted to just look at them as well. Their stickers always crack me up. It says, as cute as it is good on the sticker, if you can see that. So these probably wouldn't have been the colors or shades I would have picked for myself if I had all of the options, but go ahead and try them on. All right, so let's start with this one that looks a little bit more browny. This one is Swipe Right. Yeah, I think my poor lips have been through it. It's not bad. Yeah, my lips are definitely chapped, but they do feel very like creamy in a silicone way, but not like outright as moussey as some liquid lipsticks are. So that's not bad, probably better in the fall. And I tried to go for a pretty neutral eye look today to complement the blush and all these different lip products. All right, so hopefully the last one I like and I can just leave it on. All right, so this one is the shade I'm Melting. They just have kind of a flat applicator. I think this one is pretty much like a My Lips But Better shade. It's not like showing up too much. I feel like all I'm really doing is showing how chapped my lips are. So yeah, so like I said, it's kind of a My Lips But Better shade. I think I do prefer that Pat McGrath lipstick over it, but I mean, it works. All right, so I think, was it, I think it was Femba I liked more, wasn't it? No, I think it was Soft Core. Yeah, I think this one, I think it's just a little bit more opaque. So this one, for example, is Soft Core. This one is Femba. And then this one is I'm Melting. And this one is Way Bright. So hopefully you can get the idea. Like this brown is definitely, I think, the most unique out of those, the most brown. And then the two in the middle are the most, I guess, mauve -y. But even that shade is kind of similar to that one. So anyway, just thought it'd be interesting to compare. I wonder if I could even put some of, I'm melting on top of this. Not sure that really does my lips any favors. <laughs> um, they've been through too much tonight. So that was it for the Kaja. And then uh, I did get um, this commodity scent space. This is all of their expressive scents. And I saw that Catherine McCarty got this and I think she filmed a, a short um, on this because I guess the scent paper um, is based off the, the molecule ISO E Super, I think it is, which is one of those that it's supposed to be kind of like a skin like scent, like it reacts with your body's chemistry and that kind of thing. And like, apparently not everyone can smell it. Uh, if you've ever tried like Molecule 01, I think that's basically ISO E Super. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can smell that. Uh, but this one, it does have little scent cards. So you can tear those apart and then keep track of all of the scents that you try. So. Uh, I might film a quick little dedicated video to this, letting you know what my favorite is. And they also have this little booklet that explains like their scent spaces and 
all the different notes. So really nice presentation. This was $15 and it has a $24 value. So I saved a good amount of money on this. I mean, it's not really that expensive outright, but uh, I think they also do sell this set on their website and I think also on Sephora if you wanted to check it out. So I, I got a couple just kind of silly purchases. Uh, I got this scrunchie set from Invisibobble. Um, it has like a an Easter theme to it. It has an Easter egg and a little scrunchie that looks like it has bunny ears. So I just thought this was really cute. It's called Egg Hunt. Uh, and I don't think I saw this on their website. So I really only saved like a dollar in terms of what I paid versus what they thought the value was. But because it wasn't really available elsewhere, as far as I could tell, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And I have, as I've mentioned before, like a a closet in my bedroom like I call it my beauty closet and I like to decorate it according to the season so I thought that would be really cute and then I also got this Easter egg um, for seven dollars this has a ten dollar value and it just has little like invisibobbles on the inside uh, unfortunately I think I'll probably leave them in there because I don't think I'd be able to get to them without removing this shrink wrap type label and I just think it's really cute so I'm just going to use it more for decorative purposes, which I know some people think is crazy, but it brings me joy. Uh, and then I also got the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex for $28, but this retails for $45 normally. Um, this is a relatively new product. Um, so that is what that looks like. I did have a sample of this, so I was able to try it before purchasing. And I've said before that I don't love the Living Proof smell, so it's not like my favorite, favorite hair care brand, but I can stand it, I guess. And this one, in terms of how you use it, it says apply to clean, damp hair and comb through. For best results, wait 10 minutes and blow dry. Use weekly. So I think this is kind of heat activated, kind of more similar, I guess, to how you use K18 as opposed to like Olaplex or the Briogeo maybe. Um, my hair should be in good shape. I don't have any excuse for it not to be. Uh, I think I scheduled my next hair appointment for like end of March. Um, so I'll be getting my highlights redone then. Uh, and then the last item here, that's what the coach box looked like in case you were curious. And they do have their fun polka dotted packing paper and then another Hello Fresh whatever. So speaking of my love of holidays, you can tell I kind of swapped out my Valentine's Day pillow decor for my Easter decor. Uh, I got these little earrings from Betsy Johnson and I thought these were fun. They are like Santa hats. I thought they were nice because they're holiday without being like in your face holiday. So I'll just go ahead and model one of these for you. They're not huge either. So I thought those would be fun. Um, so I picked those up for $15 and they're supposed to be $25 value. Uh, you can always find Betsy Johnson stuff at TJ Maxx though. So I don't know like if they're ever really sold full price, <laughs> but I know I've gotten other seasonal jewelry from Betsy Johnson at TJ Maxx. Like those gingerbread earrings I think I've worn in some videos, but these are much more, much more subtle and much I think easier to kind of wear. Uh, so that is it for my spring 2023 FabFitFun box. I hope you guys found it interesting. Let me know if you picked up any of the same items and how you are liking them. Uh, until next time, which will hopefully not be a FabFitFun video, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.